Hello guys and welcome to another David Zamaletta. In this video, we're going to be unboxing this. Okay, Jason, do it. Okay, let's go. Okay, now I'll release the pressure. Okay, just hold it down. Hold it down. Or just hold it. Hold it. Push it down and hold it. No, just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, just pop it. A hydraulic body frame repair kit you might be wanting something like this and what this is this is an air pump for that type of system this is so you don't have to pump it with your arm just keep pumping it back and forth you know because believe me guys it might seem like it's reasonable and you could do that but when you're gonna be underneath like a vehicle like this and you need to push out some of those frames this system trying to hold the press in place, especially the 10,000 pound one, you might be okay with a four ton, but it is so difficult. Uh, I'm a pretty strong guy, maybe not as strong as Arnold Schwarzenegger, but uh, <laughs> who said I compared to him, right? Um, but trying to hold this thing with one arm, it's so difficult, and trying to pump it at the same time and you know make sure the tool is straight. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up because you will need to add some oil in here, some hydraulic oil uh, or fluid, uh, and then you're gonna need to attach an uh, air hose uh, piece to it, and then you're gonna need to attach a portion over here, you know, for the hose, so that you could actually do some hydraulics and stuff like that. So anyways, let's no, get to it. Because you've seen a lot of videos like that, people just pumping it. Probably don't know you could actually use uh, an air-operated hydraulic pump. Now, I got this as Harbor Tools and Freight. Turns out, Amazon has it as well. A little bit cheaper, so I'm gonna link it up, uh, put a link for that. So, let's go ahead and actually open this up. All right, where is my knife? Okay, got this thing opened. So, what do we have inside? We have a book and we have something here, which I believe is of importance. Now, one thing you will need to do is buy yourself some uh, hydraulic uh, fluid. I do have some, and I'm gonna show you which one you need to buy. So here we have that already pre-wrapped. Wow, that is not expected and here we have this here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Now, here's the thing. On Amazon, this came with a hose. This doesn't. But if I want to use this, my jack, I have to remove the hose from that system. I don't know if I'm ready to use that yet, but there you have it. I need to undo this bolt. Just I think you're just gonna have to remove the whole thing. That's actually where you put the oil in. So maybe this is just a air release valve or, uh, or something, or, or bleeding it. That's probably what it is. But anyways, you're gonna need uh, this kind of oil here. You can find it, Harbor Tools by CRC. And that's what we need. I got this at Harbor Tools, guys, by the way. It's like five bucks. So let's go ahead and actually add some in there. It does come empty, so. Trying to save a few bucks, I guess. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and install this. OK, 
Okay. And then I'm just going to press it down. So guys, we're going to continue the assembly. Before uh, we continue, um, I do want to show you guys how to remove the air from the system. So you basically need to just open this up a little bit right here, like that. And then you're supposed to press down on this portion to release the air from the system. Close it down. And there you go, like that. So it is closed. So now we're going to actually flip it to the other side. We're going to install the, the compressor. Uh, Hose piece. And I guess we're gonna have to use a little tool here. That is pretty much on. So now we're gonna go to this uh, portion here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and actually twist this piece out of there, just like this. Seems like it was not really protecting anything. So anyways, guys, so in today's video, we're gonna be setting this thing up. We already have oil inside. We just added that and we're gonna need to, uh, we already have the air hose uh, attachment. So that means we're gonna need a compressor. I do have one that's gasoline operated. So when I'm actually working with this and at times when uh, the compressor is gonna be running, I'm gonna have to probably do some voiceovers. But anyways, we're gonna need to hook up um, the hose over here. And it's just gonna be like uh, a hand pump thing, uh, except it's gonna be a lot better. So let me show you how we're gonna set this thing up. So anyways guys, in order for us to set this thing up, we're gonna need to attach this hose that we have back here into this unit. So we're gonna begin by removing it. Looks like we lost a little bit of oil. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually replace this one with this piece. This is something that was actually included. Now, I'm not sure if this spring is something that needs to stay here, the back. Probably does. We're just gonna leave that spring in there. So this this should technically hold all the fluids back. Right, we're going to be adding some Teflon. Here's my tape. There's a lot of question about the right, right and wrong way of putting it. The way I put it is when you're going to start tightening it, it also uh, tightens the actual, you know, piece. So. rip a little chunk off continue wrapping it I guess you could say I wrap it counterclockwise because once I'm gonna start putting it on 
I'm gonna be doing that this way. And it's not gonna, you know, it's not gonna undo itself. So now we must insert it here. Is obviously uh, once I remove the stuff after putting in the oil uh, I'm gonna have to replace the oil because there's no more how you doing Jason good, good. good. Yeah, good. you feel better yeah you're still sick yeah, no. okay that's that, tight enough that, it gonna help you too you want to help me too? Yeah. Well, we're going to need to remove this piece here. And we're going to need to put some oil inside. You think? Oil? Yeah, we have that oil. This special oil. Hydraulic check oil. Is there a bit of oil in here? Yeah. We need to pull it, put it inside. Seems like seems like it's good. It's full. It's full of oil. It looks like it's full of oil. Yeah, it looks like I don't have to add anymore. It's just it's just on top there. So let's go ahead and make sure we put this back. It's full of oil. Okay, the way you bleed it is you, well, first of all, this has got to be really tight, and then you just undo this a little bit. You just... You need to put it like that? You just need to set that, that down and make it like that. But we're going to need to bleed it while things are running, because right now we can't really tell if we got bubbles in it or not. So chances are, once we bleed it, maybe we'll have to add some more hydraulic fluid. So at this point, uh, this is set up and it's ready for our tool. And uh, I got this thing dirty from being on the ground, so I need to wipe this thing down. Um, but yeah, we're ready. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to install a splitter just for now. So we could actually test that. I'm gonna bring my compressor hook things up and we will see if it's working immediately or we need to actually drain in so first you're gonna need to add your compressor holes on mine's on and then turn on your it compressor. helps having a 100 foot hose for the compressor so let's see if this thing works Full of air, but compressors are just pumping uh, new oil. Oh no! Apparently, this thing is uh, not screwed in really tight. There's oil spewing from all over the place over here. Wow, that's uh. It's not a good sign. I don't know why it's not releasing the pressure. Seems like things are just not working. 
So not released. Okay. I can't believe like there's just so much oil that just came out of there. That is absolutely strange. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to loosen this one up. Do not exceed half ton capacity. So it was actually leaking right here. It looks like they didn't put any flex tape or anything in here. So that is not good. Let's see what it does with this one. Dad, you're making everything good. I'm making everything dirty? Yeah. I know. See how the ram jack is going to behave. Yeah, it looks like it stops at about right there. And now we're releasing it. Seems like you have to pump it for it to release. Which is fine. So you could release it in steps, which is great. Yeah, Let's see if we could actually release the air over here. Okay, so it seems like second time it actually went further in. So now we can just release that. I mean, this makes sense. You just have to pump it to release. Seems like these are screw-on type of hooks. That's good. If it break, we could replace. Hold on. Can you let it go? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually disconnect this tool. See if it could come out more. oil it almost seems like that's the way it's supposed to do it yeah Jason you could do it um let me okay one thing's for sure it's not difficult to put these on to switch switch them out okay Jason do it Okay, let's go. Okay, now I'll release the pressure. Okay, just hold it down. Hold it down. And just hold it. Hold it. Push it down and hold it. No, just hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay, just pump it. Do it some more. Yeah, that is good. My name is Serge Zamalara. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke. But I learned to solve problems on my own. Now, I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? Do you have Sprinter expedite their business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.